Here's a variation when we are in our seated hero's pose to work on opening our shoulders while we're seated. I'm just gonna turn to the side so that you can see me. You want your sits bones down on your heels. And again, if it's uncomfortable to you, you can put a pillow or a bolster or a towel or a blanket here. You just wanna make sure there's no strain on your knees. And you wanna pull your navel into your spine and you want to bring the arms together behind you, interlace the fingers, and you're gonna to start to raise up and you're gonna drop the shoulders down and back away from the ears. Relax the face and jaw. Breathe in through the nose. And as you exhale, get a little more stretch in the upper back. And when you're done, bring the arms down behind you. And if it's available to you, you can interlace and you can push them out the other way. This is definitely a little bit trickier, but it's a possibility and it feels good to, for you depending on your shoulder mobility. So you can push that out. Inhale and exhale. And this is a great forearm stretch for all different um, things that we're doing these days that keep our forearms so tight here with the keyboard and the phone and the golf. So that is a great idea is to reverse the uh, fingers, the interlace and push out there and push down and back with the shoulders. Don't let them come up to your ears. All right, good luck with your workout and add that variation onto your shoulder stretching routine. So if you found this helpful, we'd love you to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up because we want to get our message out to as many people as possible about improving movement quality. So tell all your golfer friends, and you know what? It's not just really for golfers. A lot of people can benefit from improving their movement quality. So thanks for watching.